Welcome back. This is what I was talking about last week. Um, Rocket Bunny rear diffuser. Looks pretty straightforward. Obviously, it's not a genuine uh, Rocket Bunny rear uh, rear diffuser. It's uh, it's a replica, uh, but you do get genuine paperwork with it. So, genuine photocopy. Uh, pretty excited. So, I'm just going to not talk and just just fit it. I think I have to cut a lot off the bumper, but I'm all right with that. Anyway, so first things first, I'm um, not got much room behind the car, so uh, I'm gonna take the front bumper off, move the lawnmower, and push the car forward right next to the brat um, so I can get behind the car, so let's do that. Montage. at the bumper and the exhaust um, and the diffuser I'm gonna have to cut a lot off um, the exhaust is gonna have to come off for starters um, so yeah I've got to take the exhaust off um, I don't know what to do first I don't know what to kind of put the diffuser fir together first or take the exhaust off first Put the diffuser together first, that should be that should be fun. Right, it consists of obviously several components. You've got two main center sections, you've got the uprights that go to the bumper or the slam bar on the back, you've got the two outer plates um, or center outer plates, and then you've got the two uprights. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces all together. Uh, <clears throat> just gonna put it all together. Um, See what it kind of looks like, get a kind of feel for the size and positioning of it. We have to kind of put it together and break it down loads of times to to, uh, to work out what exactly is going on. Um, but yeah, <laughs> put this together first, and then I'll kind of mock it up on the bumper, see where I've got to cut stuff, uh, and yeah, let's go from there. Um, and they are pretty much the same width. That's why I got the front bumper because it's the same width as an S14. Um, this is for an S14 slash S15, um, and it's, it looks like it's going to come up a little bit short on the width. Um, but I don't really know that until I put the side plates on. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull that up um, and kind of get a, get an idea of where it's going to sit, and then put one of the plates on for the sides. Decided to do. I've taken like one one end of that diffuser off this this end plate here. Um, I'm gonna fix on this plate. 
onto here um, and then attach that to this um, and then do the same for the other side. So I've got these two sections on and then I'm going to work out what to do exactly with the, uh, with the middle. These are the end plates. Um, I was originally thinking um, maybe put them maybe put them here, but that's not going to work with the way the bumper shaped down here. Not the shape of the bumper even. If I mounted it up to here, that part is going to be really close to the rear tire. It's going to be almost touching it, so I'm not going to do that. So the natural place to put it and the place it's going to give some more room as well is this line here. It kind of sits nice and snug in there. And that obviously gives us more kind of clearance for the bottom, for all this stuff that's probably gonna have to be removed and cut out. exhaust has got to come off. Pretty sure this exhaust clamp is supposed to be in one piece. I was looking at it thinking ah it's gonna be fun getting that bolt out but um, it, it just it just fell apart so so <laughs> it's that easier. Subaru I think you uh, I think you succeeded in making probably the most awkward bumper in the world to get off um, there's screws everywhere and basically to get the bumper off you take the crash bar off as well it's actually part of it um, I've had to take off these we can see it but in here there are can we see it? down there those two bottom holes there there's 17 mil bolt on both sides you have to take those out and that means after you've done various bolts here and there you can actually take the whole bumper off which includes the crash bar so thanks for that Subaru that's really nice of you um, uh, I'll never get that time back again perfect just just not awkward at all Ugh. That was pretty rough. That cut, I am going to need it up, so I do apologise if that was that. Uh... It's stressful. <laughs> it was stressful for me. We've got a large portion of it chopped out now, so um, we should be able to get part of it in and kind of get an idea of what's, what's going on. So, kind of got it in place. What I need to do, obviously, is measure out the centre of this and then measure out the width between these two points 
here, these uprights, because these bolt onto the chassis or the crash bar. Um, because this rear bumper is, is pretty deep, obviously it includes the crash bar. I've got to yeah, measure out the exact points of these, um, do slits in the bumper, and then push. I'll be able to push it all, all back. Um, and then we can kind of yeah, get it level with the end plates. Um, it's still not wide enough, so I've got to figure out something there. But if I can get it mounted to this, um, that's going to be that's going to be a huge help. Um, I think it's have to go up quite high. Looking at that. Subscribe, you fools. Wonder this time where.